sit and ride two minutes with me. Just sit and ride two minutes. Bill Speedman sucks. This is how I like the new Lord of Piggies from Dick Valley. Dick and Vagina Valley, by the way. Triples sitting on US 60. Like I said, photo radar is going bye bye. These airplanes are going bye bye. I could easily go down, sit down, and camp for the valley, and I'll make their lives fucking miserable. Till they stop, or they arrest me. One of the two. They arrest this guy, they'll arrest this guy, they'll arrest this guy, they'll arrest this guy, they'll arrest this guy. But it's gonna end. Like I said, no more distractions as the Chinese continue to gloat. By the way, I saw the Making China Man down in downtown Phoenix. We're sitting there freezing our asses off. And China Man comes around the corner, not even wearing a damn shirt. Showing off his testicles, more or less trying to rub his testicles all over us. Freezing his ass off doing it, too. Pretty funny. Priceless, almost. Arrogant Chinese and arrogant mafia, rich people. Scottsdale should have clamped this problem a long time ago, but instead they let it get out of hand. And boy, did it get out of hand. Like that conversation I had with the Scottsdale Police Department. Well, I don't want to arrest you. You sound like a pretty good guy. Yeah, man. That's why Betty and I asked you guys to fucking stop gangbanging us with aircraft. He was like that. He goes, really? <laughs> I said, 25 to 50 a day. And he goes, holy crap. He goes, well, I looked on the internet, and it doesn't say anything they were doing anything wrong. I said, man, unless you know how to read those maps, you're looking at the damn fucking paint dry, buddy. <laughs> In fact, it, you know, I had to, I would have definitely given the FBI a harder time if I'd known the altimeters were hacked. But we didn't know that information until after the FBI came and harassed us. And they still owe Betty a good gravesite. If she, I hope she's still alive. Asshole fucking photo radar patrols it's called more foot troopers more cops on regular bikes too would be nice not swinging around have somebody to talk to talk about the new world order all oh, that everybody in downtown knows how crooked the government is they all verbally have discussed this to a multitude that's why I'm here to put a clamp on it and like I said somebody put a speed trap in the middle of Whitman 45 and 65 is a death zone. That's like an easy ticket zone. In other words, they're basically causing people to falter so they can make money off of them. I find that to be a problem. So, as I froze my ass off in downtown, watching the peeps, I had a dream about all that too, so it's like, it was basically just reliving the same thing all over again, except in real life. <laughs> With more torture, but other than that, I mean, if people knew who I was, <laughs> they said only famous people and bums come into downtown Phoenix. <laughs> well, I'm not a bum, uh, but I definitely fight for the poor. But at the same time, it's time to clean up the streets. You know, pick up the trash. I'm tired of picking up trash. Lots of trash in this park. Some would say too much. Canto was the least trashy that I saw, um, but. Cecilio and Falcon were definitely, you know, people just leaving the trash right in the middle of the damn road. I mean, come on, you know, lazy ass people. Lazy ass people. <laughs> damn, they threw my hip out when I was over at Cecilio, Cecilio, Cecilio Park. Yeah, but that they had a lot more trash and a lot more homeless. But the idea is just to clean up a little bit. These people need homes or somewhere to go and stay so they're not sitting there hanging out in a park. Where people are supposed to feel better instead of worse. <laughs> and so, needless to say, as we continue the adventure to visit parks day after day, I'm here to bring an end to Transpac Aviation. They're going to be exposed out in the open. If not, the government arrests me and they can do whatever dribble they want because obviously we can see the desperation of security and money. Remember, security and peace are what they're promising, but obviously it's not what the, it was intended. Let me tell you, the low-altitude flying lawnmowers were uh, breaking VFR, basically violating FA regulations, and nobody would slap their hand. And obviously the kids figured out that the FA wasn't going to slap their hand, right? That's what happens when you deal with rich people. 
uh, they cause problems. The food chain goes all the way up. <laughs> so, so, so I'd highly recommend the Bible type for these people. You can get off your lazy asses and go ride a bike. Electric vehicles, no more. As far as I should say, not electric vehicles, but you got to make noise when you're in downtown or if you're just on these streets just because nobody can hear you. Some of these electric psychs can fucking scare the shit out of you. Even for a pedestrian and a bike person, I have to sit and watch out that. I have to watch out twice as much when I'm a when I'm hauling ass on a bike because I'm you know you're moving 15 almost 10 15 miles an hour, and one of those things comes whiz banging out of nowhere. <laughs> Let me tell you, no bueno. It was not a very fun adventure. But other than that, I can just tell you that most of the peeps down there on the Phoenix streets are pretty friendly. You know, there was no, you know, idiots and stupid gunfire. Not like here on the west side, but needless to say, um, it's time to go put down the foot on the Illuminazis at Deer Valley, you know, and see where it goes. So work, work hard, work will distract you, but at the same time you have to be proactively recording all this trash. And uploading it to the internet, DARPA, so that DARPA and it's an AI can see what it's doing to itself. That's the real main drive of recording and doing what we do, is to let the AI hiding out in Texas get a clue that uh, it's causing some problems. You know, oh, and their utopia, their crime utopia. Oh, by the way, I wanted to make a comment about the guy who was harassing the homeless out there on the streets. You're an ass. You're a piece of shit. Uh, you could have left those people alone instead of harassed and heckled them. Um, yeah, some, some guy on a bike, smoking cigarette, but complete asshole. <laughs> I mean, just complete fucking asshole. I mean, can you just leave these people alone? It's already bad enough that you look at the world running around with everybody with phones in their faces. Shit, I wonder why the fucking homeless are sitting on the side of the street sitting there doing nothing, because they're anything to do. And then you look at all these people carrying their bags and stuff. Shit, they're looking for something to do and not get killed or not mind controlled. I mean, phew. Lots of homeless on the roads. And this is a problem in L.A. This is a problem in Seattle. This is a problem in New Orleans. I've been to all these places. I could tell you all about the, the streets. Um, Detroit's not too bad just because it's so damn cold. But um, Miami, it's there, but it's not as bad. Uh, especially when I was there, it wasn't, like, super terrible. Especially, I was over in the nice district. You know, I didn't go wandering off into to too many of the barrios just because they said just be careful you know you'll get shot but other than that i did spend a night at a entirely el palacio hotel and they were it was all black people it was black you know that was their that was their stomping grounds my boss thought it was funny to he's basically trying to get my ass whooped <laughs> but i ended up turning the situation from a negative into a positive by going out hanging out with the locals Drinking, boy, they bought me shot after shots and passing out. You know, whatever happens, happens. But needless to say, what happens in Miami stays in Miami. <laughs> so as I continue to commentate the Illuminati and New World Order trash rolling around the skies, because let me tell you, if you looked at the south end skies of Phoenix, there's nothing but sprayers. And by the way, you can't spot sprayers on FlightRadar24.com. They don't exist, okay? You can look all you want. That aircraft is either net jets or some private ass, you know, fucking, I really don't see too much military doing too much bad. It seems to be more of a corporation, corporate bullshit thing. So net jets and a bunch of Delta, you know, a bunch of them, you know, the, you know, the big wigs, big toys. Uh, they seem to be the, the culprits behind all this in a sense. And yeah, if you're flying in public airspace and I look at my fucking phone, your information should be right there, ready to go. You know, none of the secrecy bullshit blocked and all that shit. You're flying a fucking aircraft in public airspace. It's everybody's business. So, needless to say, you can't drive around the fucking roads with a fucking private plate. So, you don't get to drive around the fucking sky with a private plate. I mean, you can try to obscure your plate all you want. Have fun. Illuminazis. I do this for Kevin Blunt, by the way. Uh, he did New York. So, that's where I kind of got the inspiration of being in the downtown and going out freezing my ass off and doing a little bit of activism, but at the same time, you still have to come back and hunker down and stay warm because it's just freezing cold out there. Yeah, and more public internet downtown Phoenix. You know, it's all, it's all uh, centric, uh, you know, it's all New World Order Illuminati controlled. You know, it's either the hotels or it is the, um, it's the, 
other ones, the bars I don't care about. As long as the bars have a reason to have internet, trust me, that it does exist. What do you do on their internet is their business. But Starbucks is the other one. But there was no internet for squat in downtown. I mean, you had to travel somewhere to get internet. And, you know, they should have that Wi-Fi. Uh, the downtown, you know, internet, hey, it's all on the outside, right? Cox has got that stuff everywhere. You know, I did not see one Cox internet connection when I was, you know, farting around down in Central. But, you know, I grew up in Central, Phoenix. It's changed a little bit. really hasn't changed much as far as overall. So, still, <laughs> somebody has to go down there and help out, you know, step in and help out the homeless. At least, you know, cheer them up or something, you know. Let them know there is hope. But needless to say, um, t the Bible says to take care of the lost, the widowed, and the poor. And I don't see anybody doing that. So as we go to continue to pick up more trash out in the world, okay, try not to throw our hips out, get exercise so that the you know fast food industry doesn't turn you into a lard. <laughs> and you know, just get up and move around. Be proactive. Um, uh, it does wear your legs out, but at the same time, you know, what do you do? Uh, when the government doesn't want it, 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 the Bible talks about a time where people won't be able to get jobs. So it's there, you know, it's, you look around, you look at all the homeless down there. I mean, there's, I'm pretty sure there's a few able bodies that would have been doing something if they'd known there would have been something to be doing. But so you have to keep in mind, this was all generated to keep, you know, generate their chaos machine, their Illuminati machine, Illuminati. And what are the, you know, I just got to ask this in a personal note, what? Our Mandarin Chinese doing flying over Morristown in Whitman, Arizona. They don't speak Spanish. Okay. They definitely don't belong in the sky. Their English is really not knocking them. But let's put it this way. A lot of air traffic controllers have to repeat a lot of what they have to say to foreigners. Right. So let's try to get a, to me, English is supposed to be in the language for all airplane pilots to be talking. That was supposedly the rule. That's what at least I was told. But we don't need our air traffic controller speaking five different languages trying to get some, you know, airplane from point A to point B without crashing into anybody. But, yes, I heard a lot of Luke repeating itself. And, like I said, what are the Chinese doing flying? And what is the United States doing in bed with China? What is any state doing in bed with China right now? I mean, we already got the Bohemian Groves causing problems. But socialist communist China? Man, you guys are really pushing them borders. Needless to say, as we continue to battle the Illuminazis here, it doesn't matter where you go, they're going to be everywhere. And being proactive in the environment is the only way to get anything done. Uh, make yourself a mobile target. Um, so if anybody wants to shoot you, in, <laughs> there's going to be a bunch of witnesses. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Um, you can't be afraid. I mean, that's all I can tell you. you. Can't be afraid. Going down those roads, just watch out. Keep your head on the bobble. Uh, I'm street trained. I've done a lot of riding in downtown Seattle, done a lot of downtown riding in New Orleans, Baton Rouge. So I'm city trained, city certified. Um, more vendors in downtown Phoenix. Oh my God, I mean, you shouldn't have to walk so far to get food. I mean, geez. Uh, scoping out the situations. And you now, like I said, downtown Phoenix needs a, needs a change. And by the way, I didn't mean to be Rude to all those women or dudes down in downtown Phoenix. I'm just doing my job. Sorry, you know. And plus, I you know I probably look like a a street street bum. <laughs> I get out my clothes, but at the same time, you know, you have to basically be poor. You know, you have to basically be lowly so that you don't get attacked. Because you know, most people don't. Most of the people I've run into aren't into any type of confrontation. They're not into. They're very cordial, very considerate. And I appreciate that. So I just want to say a special shout out for all the cordial people, you know, that were real nice with that trip. I mean, a lot of people could have, you know, done something, but, you know, everybody's bitched that nobody's done anything. I did. It's done. So <laughs> I can go crawl into a fucking grave and die happy <laughs> knowing that my job is finished <laughs> and I don't have to deal with, you know, lonely fucks, dumb fucks, idiots jackasses and stuff of that nature hiding remember you live by a sword you die by that sword it's just what the bible says and that's why you don't see me hanging around anything so i'd rather live by the poor to die by the poor or die, die poor um lowly of heart you know that's what keeps it you know like i said phoenix needs a spirit 
So somebody's lost son did definitely made their way down in there and you know worked their ass off, walked their ass off, rode their ass off, and inspected, you know, assessed the situation that was at hand. And you guys need help, you know. Like one guy said, if it gets any worse, you know, we might as well go ahead and move out of this country. I said, Well, that's what they've been trying to do. Hello. It's the Illuminati, you know, but really nice people, really nice folk. We appreciate it all. Thank you for waving and smiling. And uh, other than that, if the women don't find you handsome, hopefully find you handy. Uh, Red Green Show, keep your stick on the ice or keep your stick on the sand if you're downtown here in Phoenix. Much love and watch out for the crazies. Don't cross, don't talk to the, yeah, you can talk to the crazies, just be careful. They're, 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 there's a lot of crazies. Don't feed the birds unless you want to get attacked by the birds. Just so you know, those birds will come at you with force. So be careful when feeding the birds. Do it at a distance or somewhere safe because they'll get you. Other than that, peace out.